Hi. In this video, I'm going to implement a Raza form to handle all the information collection and storing that into slots. I'm going to continue with my t-shirt size example, but the main difference will be that I am no longer just relying on entities and slots to store the values. I'm now actually using a Raza form and I'm also able to add a condition to my slots to just add a little bit more structure. So let's discuss all the changes I've made to my domain.yaml file. Well, the main thing that I did is I added this forms section. This allows me to list a couple of forms that the user can fill in. The best way to think about a form is that it's actually a lot like a loop. It is like a custom action that just keeps on asking questions until all required slots are filled. And that is kind of nice because it just adds a lot of structure to how we collect our information. In this particular case, I am saying, well, let's just collect shirt size and that'll be it. But this shirt size is referring to a slot, namely the one that's listed here. The slot is still filled by the presence of an entity, but the thing that is different is this condition. This condition is making sure that I'm only going to be listening to the entity value when the form is actually active. If there is an entity present, but we're not in the form, then this won't change the slot value. And that's a nice protective mechanism that gives us just a little bit more control over the slot values. Given that the slots are configured for my form, the next thing that I gotta do is make sure that the form can be triggered from a conversation. To do that, I have made some rules in my rules.yaml file, and these rules ensure that the form can be activated as well as deactivated. To activate the form, I'm basically using my ask me anything intent, and then the shirt size form is triggered, but also the active loop is triggered for that form. The form will then keep asking questions until all the slot values are filled in. And once they are filled in, then the active loop will be set to null. This is something that the loop itself will handle. And that means that you can use this segment of a rule to indicate that a form is done. And that also means that you can specify what needs to happen once the form actually is done. In summary, this gives us a rule to say how to get started. And this also gives us a rule that tells us when to stop. It's usually also a good idea to just add a story to your stories.yaml file. And I have used Raza Interactive to construct this story for training. In the story, you can see that when the ask me anything intent is triggered, indeed the loop is starting, so the form is active. Then the form is asking for a slot. It's requesting the t-shirt size. And then in this conversation, medium was given. After that, we were no longer asking for slot values. And you should recognize that what I'm describing here is the same as what I had in my rules before. What I would like to do now is run the Raza interactive command in this shell to make everything that I've just explained a little bit more tangible. But before I can do that, I will also need to run my action server over here because I am using a custom action in my assistant as well. Raza interactive is now active. So what I'll just do for good measure is just give ourselves a little bit more screen real estate. And I'll start the conversation now just by saying hi. Raza Interactive is able to tell me that the intent greet has been detected, so I can say yes, that's good. The bot wants to run utter greet back, so, so far so good. Next though, what I'll just do is I'll just say, how are you feeling? Well, I'll tell it that I'm medium and that I am sad. At the moment, the mood unhappy intent is triggered, but it's also detecting an entity for medium over here. Technically, this entity is not correct, but I'm gonna pretend that it is just to see what will happen. The main thing that I hope is that this t-shirt size slot is not being set because in our domain file, we've added some conditions. So let's go over everything that happened. We have our medium shirt size that's been detected. 
we have our assistant that is trying to cheer us up because we said that we were sad, but the t-shirt size slot is still not set yet. So this entity has not been causing this slot to fill, which is exactly what we want. What I'll do now though is I'll just return yes because the assistant is trying to cheer me up and I'll pretend like the cheering up helped. But now I would like to trigger the form. So I'll tell the assistant to ask me anything. And we can now see that a form wants to become active. So that's correct as well. And now it is asking for my t-shirt size inside of this form. So in this case, I will tell it that my t-shirt size is large. I can confirm that large is detected as an entity. So this is correct. We can confirm that a slot has just been set. Again, that's because the entity is now inside of a form. So that's good. The shirt form wants to move on. That's still correct. But now we are also immediately at the end of the form. So the bot wants to tell us that it will remember what we've told it. And there you have it. We have a form that's able to set a slot, which is nice.